Hey, this is Dana. Uh, tonight I'm going to talk to you about a thing called the Internet of Things, or often abbreviated IOT. And what I really want to talk about, what is it and am I safe? So let's get started here. Try something different. I'm going to pop up in the middle here, see how that works. So, all right. So, anyhow. Internet of Things, what, what is it? So, the Internet of Things are smart devices. So, some of the things you might know about are, for example, like baby cams. So, or nanny cams. Um, garage door openers, thermostats, refrigerators, all these smart devices that you can get an app with your phone and control these things from wherever you're at. Be on vacation, neighbor check on your house. Talk to them on the phone, you, you pull out your phone, you open your garage door, you're a thousand miles away. It sounds pretty cool, but is it that cool? Because who else is opening your garage door? That's a good question. So let's start at the beginning. So back probably around October, there was a thing called a denial of service attack against a company that does DNS. And you probably don't know what that is, but uh, DNS is the, the process where IP addresses on the internet are converted to like domain names and vice versa. So if you go to yahoo.com, you're actually going to an IP address and there's companies who keep track of this. It's called DNS and these hackers threaten, this company said, if you don't give us uh, a million dollars, we're going to do a denial of service attack against your servers. Then people who are surfing the internet want to go to Twitter, can't get to Twitter because the company who's converting the twitter.com into an IP address to display the website is down because their web servers are being totally bombarded with a denial of service attack from these hackers. So what these hackers did, they actually used a botnet of smart devices like coffee pots, refrigerators, thermostats, and I, I don't know what all they use. I haven't really read um, the conclusion of exactly what happened, but I know uh, smart devices, and I think I did hear that coffee pots were one of the things that were attacking these um, these um, DNS servers. So now that happened back in October. Uh, since then, I've been kind of reading more about it, and uh, I, I teach a security class, a CompTIA Security Plus class over at Kishwaukee College. And I got a new mascot. Actually, he's a uh, this is um he's a little coyote in um, Kishwaukee College. The the mascot is coyote, so I saw this guy and I had to I had to bring him home. So he's um he's a mascot for Kishwaukee College now for my videos. So getting back to this um, subject, so. Uh, my, my comment was, uh, Internet of Things, what is it, and am I safe? So we kind of know what Internet of Things are. So it's all these smart devices out on the Internet. And the next question is, am I safe? Well, let's start with cars, for example. So cars, uh, cars have GPS. They have locks, automatic locks. They have, you can automatically start them. Um, there's self-driving cars now. There's things that detect if you're getting too close to another car. It'll actually, like... Um, apply the brakes for you. If you're swerving off the road, it actually correct your driving and uh, I don't know, jerk the wheel back to the center of the road, I guess. So all these things are really cool, but what happens when your car gets hacked? So you're driving along and all of a sudden, you know, your steering wheel swerves to the other lane and you crash into somebody. Is that is that possible? I don't know. Um, the other thing, you going down the highway, these road signs nowadays are, you know, the messages are, you know, there's like a amber alert or something. Who's to say that these things aren't going to get hacked? And there's going to be, you know, somebody's going to change the road sign saying um, uh, road closed or accident ahead. Everybody exit at this exit and then causes a traffic jam and then the road isn't blocked or whatever. So um, you're probably thinking to yourself, eh, it probably won't happen, but... I was reading an article where, where over 24 models of cars have been hacked. So this is not 24 cars, it's 24 different models of cars have been hacked. 
So and that's cars, so that's kind of scary. Now I already talked about things in your house like cameras, nanny cams, uh, doors, uh, both like entry doors and garage doors, thermostats, refrigerators, coffee pots, any all types of smart devices in your house. These things are they all have like a, the cars, your house things, whatever. They all have some type of operating system, like a like a skimmed down Linux operating system. And if they have some type of operating system, there there people can like get into them and, and possibly you know overtake your let's say your thermostat to act as part of this botnet. So when I was talking about this denial of service attack, it was all these devices that people have were compromised and these devices were like bombarding these servers with just random data to get it to respond, get the servers to respond to bring them down. So that's that's what happened there. So let's talk about TVs. So you don't think about your TVs being um you know evil, but there's a thing going around called ransomware where uh, hackers get somehow hold your computer, you click on something and they encrypt your computer and the only way to get the stuff back is if you pay them a ransom. So that's going to be very popular. Well now I actually read where TVs, smart TVs are getting hacked and instead of turning on Netflix there's a display saying if you want your TV back you got to pay us like $500 and um, you got to either pay the 500 bucks or your TV is just goes to the dumpster I guess. So that's happening. So this one here is kind of scary. I took some notes here. So uh, medical devices. So you don't think of medical devices as being like web enabled, but they are. So things to do with your your heart, uh, pacemakers and implant defibrillators. So there's actually been white hat hackers, good guys, who have demoed that some of these pacemakers and these defibrillators, uh, the guy actually was able to make the defibrillator go into uh, do a shock. So can you imagine having yourself or a loved one having a defibrillator, pacemaker, combo implanted in their chest or walking along with some very malicious evil person coming along and hacking that and causing that defibrillator to shock that person's heart as they're walking down the sidewalk. So it sounds totally crazy but it's it's apparently possible. The other thing is like medical uh, medicine dispensers. So you're getting an IV in the hospital and it's programmed, uh, you know, you get an IV drip and there's so much medicine, there's morphine or something. Who's who's to say that that's not going to get hacked? Um, X-ray diagnostic machines, uh, you know, it, they're, they're computerized nowadays. So, you know, who's to say that the amount of radiation being you're being exposed to isn't being... Um, compromising who knows what happens there uh, I talked about different types of IV pumps you know insulin pumps you know are those able to be hacked um, you know as I was reading about this these uh, medical devices they go through lots and lots and lots of testing which is good but lots and lots and lots of testing takes years so if I get a defibrillator pacemaker and plan it and it's gone through five years of testing and they say yeah this thing is uh, this thing is cool and it works really well well I'm putting something with five years old technology um, that's ancient for the for the internet of things so I don't know if I'm comfortable with that or not so uh, let's keep moving on so biometrics so for example like I, I got a new um, Google phone and it's set up where my fingerprint is used to authenticate to get into it. Uh, recently in June of 2015, 18 million records were stolen from the Office of Personnel, the, that's the government, um, and that included fingerprints of I think 6 million government employees and including people that work in very high up places. So these fingerprints are stolen. So uh, fingerprints are used to get into doorways, so you know who's to say that copies of these fingerprints aren't somehow going to be used 
um, to hack biometric devices that need your fingerprint. So that is kind of scary. And you're thinking, that's not possible. Well, it's already possible. It's already happening. So my predictions are, um, I, I predict that the government's going to step in and start saying, either doing uh, recommendations for these devices or maybe some type of law of how some of these devices can be used. I, I don't know. They're internet devices, so people want the internet to be free, but yet these devices are being designed and rolled out by companies who they specialize in garage doors and coffee pots, not IT security. So that kind of scares me as a as a IT person. And let's see what else do I got here. So my prediction is is that more and more, probably at some point, almost on a daily, weekly basis, you're going to be reading articles or hearing things on the news about some type of Internet of Thing device. Uh, being invented or something new and then also as quickly you're going to hear how these things are being hacked and used for malicious things so this video has been about 12 minutes which is a long time and um, I think I'll wrap it up there so let me see here um, let me go back down the corner and go back here so questions so if you have questions contact me on Facebook look for uh, Dana the Tech Teacher I have a YouTube channel where these YouTube videos go up to and just go there and search for Dana the Tech Teacher and that's where you can find me. So I hope you found this informative and scary all at the same time. So thanks and talk to you later.